everything, and it absolutely frustrates me, is all the public sees is all this bad stuff. I did a little search on YouTube, and I typed in cattle, and uh, my first three hits were okay. That wasn't too bad. Feedlot, the third hit was horse slaughter. The fourth hit was like some 12-year-old girl like running around in the feed yard going, oh, well, dead Kathy over here. Um, other cows can see that. That's bad. Um, dairy cattle, the fourth um, hit was hardcore animal rights. Slaughter was totally bad. Meat, the first two things were things I didn't dare click on on a university computer. Um, I mean, we need to be showing our good stuff, you know, like how you go out and save a calf. I've got to get some of my stuff up on YouTube. I've been traveling so much, I've been able to sit down with Cheryl and pick out the right clips to put up there. But we need to be putting stuff up there. Feedlot, the first thing, I mean, it was really goofy. I typed in feedlot. You get this weird video, some guy in a car driving by a feed yard. No, no narration. You know, they, then you get down a little bit further, and it was um, some advertisements for a feed yard. That was all right. Cattle ranch was sad. The first three things were ranches for sale. I thought that was very, very sad. I mean, this is what, um, uh, you know, the public see. We better get real on the Internet. I did my talk last uh, night, and I... Uh, I had a student ask me, he was very interested in video and audiovisual. he says, well, who can put stuff up on YouTube? I said, anybody. You got, I mean, you ought to see them, I mean, it's just total amateur stuff. We need to be getting our message out to the public. And, I've, and over the last nine years, I've worked on improving the meat plants. The McDonald's and Wendy's audits have made tremendous, huge improvements. And everybody thinks Hallmark. That frustrates me. You know, McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King, Whole Foods, all these companies, they got great technical staff that have implemented the animal welfare audits, but I don't know what corporate PR is doing. Corporate PR is not getting the message out there. Um, you know, the problem is, is when you get trashed, you need to be opening up the door, not shutting it. I think we need to start thinking about everything that we do. If I took my Christmas guests out there, my wedding guests, my out-of-town guests, you're going to be squirming around. Now, fortunately, beef doesn't have that many problems. A well-run beef slaughter plant passes that test. I spent an hour on the phone talking to a reporter yesterday out in California that went to Manning Beef, very progressive little company. They make Bryant natural beef, and they let him into the plant. And he goes, well, I thought I was going to puke, but it turned out it was just fine. They just walk up the chute. I'm proud of the things I've designed. And I'm going to be getting some of that stuff up on YouTube. I mean, I, I've got to get that done. Um, I have to admit, I don't know how to do it. I am going to have to have somebody else do it. But I've got to, I've got to sit down and pick out the video clips and get some of my things up there. I mean, and, and you know, the public doesn't know about these things. And animals in translation, I got a lot of stuff out there. But we better start communicating. And we also better clean up our house. And what went on at Hallmark was disgusting, and somebody thinks it was staged. It was not staged. Don't even get that stuff started on the message boards. That's just absolutely stupid. Okay, I want to do a little short talk on cattle handling because I don't like just talking about all the bad stuff. But we're going to do a little quick talk on cattle